Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm so happy to be back and I want to thank each and every one of you who has given my husband so much support on his DIY home decor takeovers. He did a phenomenal job and I'm so proud of him. If you missed him taking over for me, I'll leave all the videos linked below so you can check them out. You guys, he has me laughing with all his commentary and I know you'll enjoy it just as much. I love that many of you connected with him right away and called him the LG King. That made us really happy and made us smile every time we read a comment with his new title. I appreciate all of your beautiful messages and comments you left me since I have been away due to giving birth to our baby girl and want you to know I read every one of them and my heart is so grateful. Today I will be showing you how to make Dollar Tree bathroom DIYs, decor, and organization. Since we're all at home right now with everything that's going on in the world, it's the perfect time to tackle those spaces that need the extra loving and extra organizing. For this first DIY, we're going to be making super easy glam candles. All you'll need is Mod Podge, crushed glass, a Dollar Tree LED candle, and a foam brush. I've had these supplies at home for a while now, so it was a nice way to update my guest bathroom decor without having to spend any money. This is a really easy and fast DIY because all you have to do is apply a coat of Mod Podge on the candle and pour the crushed glass on top. I'm doing it section by section so the glue doesn't dry out and then I'm going to cover the entire candle with glitter. For the final step, let it dry for an hour and apply another coat of Mod Podge on top so you don't get fallout. And here's how it turned out. I made three of them and placed them in this mirrored tray I've had for years and filled it with Dollar Tree black sand. You can update any candle to whatever color you want. Michaels has crushed glass with different color options to choose from. For the next DIY, I'm going to remake my mirrored trash can using foam board instead of plywood. I always got asked if I can make it with foam board instead of wood like I previously did, so I wanted to give it a try and share if you missed the first one. You will need two black foam boards. I only had a black one and a white one in my supplies, so that's what I had to use, but I highly suggest using two black ones. I put Gorilla Construction Adhesive on one of the foam boards and the other with hot glue to connect the two of them together. Using my butter knife, I cut the pieces out faster than what would have been with my box cutter, so that's a tip I can share if it would help you out better. Next, hot glue the mirrors down and when done, if you have sides of the foam board that are sticking out, you can cut them down, otherwise your box won't be straight to put together. Using Gorilla Construction Adhesive, I'm applying it to the sides of the foam board and attaching it to another piece and so on. Here I'm adding tape on the sides that are connected so that it holds the pieces better while they dry overnight then I can remove them when the glue is completely dry. Next I went ahead and measured the top and cut out a foam board piece to cover the bottom of the trash can. Add glue all around the sides and place on holding it down for 10 seconds. Now it's time to add the rhinestone wrap which is always my favorite part. Since the Gorilla Construction Adhesive Glue is white, you can use a permanent marker to cover any imperfections. To finish this DIY, I'm going to clean it using my favorite glass cleaner and this is how it turned out. 
The Gorilla Construction Adhesive is holding the trash can together so secure it's not going to fall apart, so rest assured. You can use it for its main purpose or use it as a decorative piece. I wouldn't put this foam board trash can in your bathroom, but I would put it in my office, closet, or kids room for sanitary purposes. This can also be used to place a small throw blanket in, place flowers in, or as an organizer to place magazines. The ideas are endless to where this beautiful mirrored box can go. If you did want to add this in your bathroom, you can use plywood instead of foam board. For the third DIY, I'm using this frame from Dollar Tree I've had sitting in my supplies for months now and this sticker sheet from Dollar Tree. This is such an affordable and easy way to make your own custom decor with any words. I have this silver contact paper left from my husband's previous project and I decided to use it for the backing of the frame. You can cut out scrapbook paper as well for any custom background. I placed it back into the frame to make sure the word soak was going to align the way I wanted it and then I put the glass back in after cleaning it. Here's what it looks like in my bathroom on the tub. I think this turned out super cute and using things I already had to make something new which is always my favorite thing about DIYs. You never know what you can come up with if you just put in the love and effort. I'm so excited about this fourth DIY because I have wanted to organize the guest bathroom cabinets upstairs and for a few dollars I bought all of these organizers and this gray roll of liner at Walmart for $6. I'm going to cut out pieces to fit into the containers for a better look. When you cut out each piece make sure to place it in the organizer just so you want it to stay and add hot glue around the sides of the organizers. Here's how they all look once finished and all I did was add the lining with hot glue. Super easy and affordable and this is how they turned out in my upstairs guest bathroom. I love the way they look because they remind me of the ones that you see in stores. You can use these for your kitchen drawers as well for silverware and other kitchen utensils. I had so much lining paper left that I actually used it to add in the drawers. Here's a clip without drawer lining and with drawer lining. I also used it for the bottom of the cabinets you will see with this next DIY. For the fifth DIY, I'm going to update these blue containers from the Dollar Tree. I've had this marble contact paper and thought it would be a great way to update these containers to more of my style. I've had these mirrored frames just sitting in my craft cabinet and knew they would be perfect for using them as labels outside of the containers. I cut pieces of the contact paper to make it easier to apply on the containers and did this all around. If you want to add some to the bottom, it's up to you, but I just added it to the sides and in the inside.
I removed the back and turned the paper over, then hot glued the frame in the center. I bought these letter stickers from Michaels with a coupon so they only came to be about $3. I labeled the containers and here's the finished result. I love the way these look and how functional they are for my guest bathroom cabinets. I hope this video inspired you to organize your home using things you already have or the best part using Dollar Tree items and turning them into beautiful decor and organization pieces. This concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know which DIY was your favorite. I can't wait to hear from you. It's so good to be back. I'll talk to y'all very soon in my next one. Take care.